Welcome to Look and See Outdoors. Today I'm out about in the woods. Me and Rose, what I'm doing, I'm looking for some material to make a, a walking stick or a hiking stick. And what I found here, I want to do one out of hickory. So I found this hickory sapling. And I'm going to cut it. I already started the cut right here. But I'm going to cut it. And there's some material. I may have enough for two, maybe three pieces of walking stick. And I know this looks like sweet gum, which it is, but it's this tree here. This is the one. I'm going to cut it here. And there's some new growth. And this tree will survive. And this will probably make the new lead here later on in the summer. It's, it's only mid-April. I'll come back and we'll check and see how this tree is doing. But I'm going to cut this. I'll make a cut here and here. And then we'll see what kind of material I can get. Looks like it's going to make some good walking stick material. That's funny, I thought I was recording there and I wasn't recording. So I cut it. And this is Lee. Said hi, this is not something for somebody to fall on and hurt themselves. A stob. And looking at it now since I've cut it, I believe it's only going to be enough for one good walking stick. When I was cutting it, it was getting hung up. I like to cut it. A little bit taller than myself. And that gives me room to work it down. So I'm going to cut it again. Right here. I normally have a better saw with me, but I don't have one with me today. So I'm a little leatherman to the rescue. material for I think you can make some other stuff out of it some pegs things like that and here we go a little taller than me but like I said I like to have it like that and that way have some room to to work it down I actually just kind of wanted to stick. I've been walking around over here. I was looking for antler sheds. And I I've been wanting to do a, a hiking stick out of hickory. And I knew this area had some good hickory sticks. Uh, little hickory saplings in it. So this is going to make a good walking stick right here. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna pick up this camera right here by where I am. There's a deer rub. That's this year's too. Now I've learned over the years, deer hunting, big deer or make little rubs. Never seen a little deer make a big rub. May ease on over and uh, show y'all a rub from this past year. Walking through these woods this time of the year. Especially cutting this hickory makes me really think a lot about my dad. This month will be the 13th year since he died. And man, you never stop missing him. You never stop missing him. I don't think there's ever a day since he died that I don't think about him some way or another. This was the time of year he and I got out. My brother would turkey hunt with us too sometimes and we had some we had some good times in those days running running after them birds trying to get on a gobbler in the spring and uh those days were long gone i 
still like to chase them birds. I just don't have the, the opportunities like I once did. I'm hoping that'll change though. But I thought I'd come up through here and see if I could find some antler sheds. Seen a couple of bucks with antlers still on them. So, you know, they drop them. Usually by the summertime, they're all gone and they got their new antlers coming in. That soft velvet touch to them. I thought I was recording earlier when I was cutting this hickory. And I had not restarted the camera, so I, I don't think that. When I was cutting it, I was really thinking about my dad. And daddy was always cutting him a hickory tree, hickory limb, or a little sapling. And he'd have him a walking stick with him at all times when we was in the woods. Mainly for snakes. My dad, he did not care for snakes. I don't want to get bit by no snake, but I'm I'm not as nervous about snakes as he was. He His belief was the only good snake was a dead snake. And it didn't matter with him. He just had that fear of snakes. And he was honest about it. He never made no bones about, you know, not liking snakes. Man, it's some pretty woods right here. There is, there is a diverse ecosystem here of trees and plants and animals. There are turkeys, there are deer, there are squirrels, rabbits, all kind of songbirds. In the trees, there's pines, there's oaks, maples, dogwoods. They even got this cane break right here. neighbors uh, recently did some choice cutting over there on that property and them turkeys are in there like crazy right now it'd be cool to find some sheds got to get on them though there's deer been in here because the longer they lay here the more oh, i like to hit myself in the head with that um, all the animals, they're full of calcium, those, those antlers, that's just bone, so the animals love to eat them. As if I need another project, but I've had in my head for a while of making a, trying my hand at making a bow. And this hickory, I believe, is a good size. It's pretty straight. I'm not actually sure, but I know you want a good size hickory, not a mature, but one that you can work with and work down and get that bow out of it. So I'm going to do some more checking, and that may be a good specimen of a hickory. It'd be cool to make a hickory bow and get the string made up, make some arrows, make everything from the, the, the surrounding area, and uh, even nap the the um, the arrowheads out of some I ordered some which is just a, a box of flint I think it came out of Texas so I haven't done nothing with those yet I got over here and I couldn't find what I was wanting to show you guys but that rub over there when I said big deer make little rubs I don't think little deer make big rubs check this out right here Look how big this thing is. This was this year. It almost looks like a post rub. This is fresh from this past deer season. He was hooking. And get a little bit of scale here if I can't. Look how big this thing is. That ain't no real deer right there. And he hooked all around it. I think he's still roaming around, too. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this little video. I might have another, some more material. There's some folks wanting some walking sticks. I'm going to get some made up. Hopefully make a little bit of money. But it's just a nice afternoon. Get out in the woods. Had this opportunity. Take just a few minutes. 
and ease through here. Let's look at this beautiful, somewhat of a bluebird sky. It was cloudy and foggy earlier, and it's clearing up. Snakes are out, so I'm trying to watch my feet. Guys, y'all take care. I'll see you later. Get my tongue untied. See y'all next time.